Good morning, y'all, and welcome to the vlog. This week, we're taking a look at some radish. Come along with me and enjoy the ride. I'm Dre, and this is Keep It Class C. I want to introduce you to my channel, where I am a TSR rep for a local vegetable seed company, and I want to take you along on my travels, and along the way, hike some fantastic trails. All right, y'all. We're 25 days into this radish cropping. It's ready to harvest. Let's take a look at it. See what's up. However, now that I think about it, why don't we backtrack to the beginning of the month? See how it goes in the ground. Radish is one of the uh, crops in Florida that is drilled directly into the uh, soil. It's a very quick growing crop. It's only 30 days to maturity, so you're in and out. Um, and, um, and the populations are extremely high, something along the lines of like 500,000 seeds per acre. Whereas a uh, tomato, you're at something like uh, 5,000 uh, transplants per acre. So there's a huge difference in the price difference as well. Well, we're here. We might as well see how it's drilled how it's put in the ground, and the machinery that's needed. The large tank and the bar that you're seeing on the front of the tractor sprays a fungicide into the rows. That's followed by the tractor itself and the, and the implement. The implement has a vacuum on the back of it, so it sucks the seed against a plate that seed is directly sown into the soil. This is what the field looks like prior to drilling. And this is what the field looks like after. All right, y'all, so what a grower is really looking for in a radish crop is a bulb that's nice and round. Radish are highly susceptible to environmental conditions. So if you take a look at this radish, you can see how it's elongated. We call that a barrel shape, whereas this is more of a nice traditional round shape. These tops are significantly taller than what you would like. However, that is also environmental. We've had a lot of rain, so that will encourage tall growth on the, on the top of the plant. Furthermore, what a uh, radish grower is looking for is a nice tail, no rat tails, very good here, and pretty good internals. You want a nice, clear, white internal. If there's any kind of bleeding, from the cuticle into the center of the uh, radish, that would be considered undesirable as well. Overall, this crop outside of tall tops is looking pretty good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Keep it short for the week. Seems like you guys like that better. If you felt you got something out of it, consider subscribing. See you next week.